opens the store did, bumps out the dents of the breastplates, and gives them both back to you. Hey, nice. And just tries to put them back, back on and just... Okay, so, I guess it, so I'm guessing no enchantments. <laughs> I hand him one of my longbows. Out of curiosity. He gives it back to you. And you can see him go back to forging a new weapon. Infusing it with magic with every tink. Did he infuse the magic of the items we gave him, or...? It appears Any... he's not made to enchant weapons, just make enchanted weapons. Oh, okay. Anybody else tempted to, you know, take something and then just yeah. wreck him if he decides to fuck with us? Uh, actually, um, does, can you do uh, another breastplate, uh, Mithril, uh, Jacob? You guys can see pretty much any kind of weapon or armor you would ever need in this room. They're up to the wall. Okay, so are there like so? I'm guessing there are no rings, no amulets, only armors. And... Yeah, this room is just filled with enchanted shit. It appears he's been making them for the past maybe thousand years. Oh, no one's told him to. I'll try taking one if you want, and just be careful, you know. What if I just, like, dump gold in front of him? Yeah, chuck, that's, a, that's an interesting idea, who knows what. Chuck a, chuck a few handfuls of gold at him, see what he does. Yeah, I'm gonna, like, put a bag full of, like, oh, shit, we have fuck tons of money. Um, like, 200,000 gold. <laughs> just in case. You put the gold in front of him. He looks at it, takes it over to the furnace and starts melting it. And then oh. uses that plating for a lovely set of armor. Oh. That oh. He does not recognize the currency. <laughs> so he just made me a nice set of uh, armor? Oh, wait. Say what? These coins I found at the beginning. Yeah, I now yeah. have gold-plated armor. You don't. You just made a set. You'd have to take it from him. I'm about to take it from him. Oh, fucking bastard. <laughs> hey, I'm... Uh, In a because, second, though. Let's see I'm guessing I nobody took it from me, so I pull out because from my back of holding the coins I found at the beginning that I thought they might be a currency of... they might have been a currency, and I pay every, every coin and I show it to him. Okay. You take the coins out and... He seems to respond. He takes them, looks at them, and puts them to the side of his table. Uh, Looking at you, he has stopped all his work. Uh, sorry, could you repeat? Because I know. Okay, so he stopped working, but he looked at me and. like. He's taking them. Okay, he took the money, so. Will that mean I could take one of the items? Depends. How many coins did you take? Roll a 1d10. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll 1d10. Ooh! You grab 10 coins, so maybe that means 10 items, who knows? Um, uh, okay, so... Uh, okay, so... Just to give it a try, I'm searching, like through these items, are share, I'm searching for either a, yeah, for a ring of protection, or something like ring, magical ring. Okay, so, roll searching. That's perception. No, perfect. Unfortunately, don't find a ring of protection. All you find is a crappy ring of immortality. Nah, I don't need that. <laughs> I, I, I'm really not sure if you are joking or not. I'm not joking. You found a ring of immortality. Uh, what does it do? Um, you don't age. You don't need to drink, eat, or breathe. You're fine in any heat or cold. 
So basically, if you want to more or less live forever, take it. But you can still die to getting your ass kicked. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, true. <laughs> I mean, that's why after you get that that sort of fleshcraft, that's when you focus on the fleshcraft that stops you getting your ass kicked. Then you focus on the appearance. Just like a, kind of like a few seconds. Okay, so I think to myself, well, I can I can die by fighting evil in the name of humanity, but I could fight this evil for a long, long time. I take this ring. And yeah, you know what? I'm gonna push it. Like I'm gonna try to. He takes it and puts it on the counter. Okay. And nine coins left. Oh, okay. So I'm now searching for an amulet. I'm not exactly sure how. Like I don't know. I'm just gonna make it to the perception what kind of amulet I'm going to find. Hey, can I borrow those coins? Yeah, 33. So, as you're searching around, you find a wand. A very nice one. Sorry guys, where are we? I had to pop out from Well, the... I found Ring of Immortality, and I got it. And now I found a wand, but I didn't hear what kind of wand exactly. Okay, can I do a spell for checking it? Then? That's that will tell me what the wand is. Yep. Um, this is a legendary wand. It doesn't cast any spells, but it will allow you to apply any magic feat to any spell you know. Oh, what really? Yeah, it's applied. And um, does it adjust the spell level? Probably. Oh, so it could also work with my spells. Yeah, get out. I'm using it. <laughs> I bet that the, so you grab it. Oh, certainly. I'm saying, look, dude, I have loads of metamagic. You want me to be having this. As soon as you do that, she just looks at you slaps you on the wrist and puts it back in the pile. Hey, let's just... I'm going to just re reach down and just, just take one of those coins. I, okay, I tried to speak to the creature in common that... Um, okay, I paid for it. That's uh, that's a friend. I'm buying it for him. Oh, shit. Sorry, I hadn't... I, I went out to go to the loo, so I didn't hear what you, you guys were up to. But, I mean, if you want me to pay you for it, all I'm saying, my dear friend Sir Marwood, is that maximum utility can come from me waving this thing around. Uh, Captain, so does Ca Callisto, it, me it means that the normal gold that we use have no meaning. We need, I'm using the coins I found at the very beginning. Well, listen, you are the man. You are the man. You know what you're doing. If you want to keep that wand yourself, it's all up to you. I won't keep it. Just don't show him that I'm taking it from you. That you are taking it from me. Okay, sure. Uh, so basically this wand is lost or not? You've got to buy stuff. You'd paid for it. None of them did. Oh, I tell you what. Can I use a bluff check to, to show that I've... Um, Borrowing it from him. You can borrow, but he still hasn't, you know, checked out. So I'm gonna so just use the kind of take. Okay, so I'm like a look around. Before before I before I let him borrow, I just check put the wand on the table and I wait how many coins he is gonna take. How many are you? I mean, I he took one coin from ten for my ring of Mar immortality, so there's um, nine uh, coins I left. Just taken one. Yeah. So he took another one for the wand. Well, that's so if he's taken one, there's seven left then. As I'm only going to have a look around. So, how many coins you taken? I rolled. I, I, I told you that I took 10. I mean, are you asking somebody else? No, I, I took a coin, remember? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I typed it, so I'm just going to have a look around the room and see if there's anything nice. Okay, so roll for searching. All around vision, remember? <laughs> 
Okay, a 44, not bad. <laughs> so, you look around and you find a dagger. I wouldn't be looking at weapons. Oh, what would you be looking at? Well, either items or, like, item slots or, um, art. Probably item slots or ar armor because she has absolutely no use for weapons because her weapons are actually far superior to these. <laughs> A strange looking curus. A what? Do you find a strange curus? A what? It's a um, piece of armor. It's a, a sort of. A... I'll spell it. Uh, a curus is basically just chest armor. Well, she's gonna police it. What size is it? For a medium creature. Does it look like it's got a stretch in it? Yeah. stretching and then they're stretching. Anyway, so. So she's probably going to go around and if it's not her size, it's like she wouldn't look at the armor. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so basically. Maybe... It's strange looking. It appears three different styles of armor and just kind of mush them together. I know, but she wouldn't look at anything that she can't even use, because it's not in her size. Well, it's like the tiniest little thing. Huh? So, yeah. Well, I'm not going to pick it up. I'm not even going to look at it, because why would she look at something that's not even her size? She's probably going to look at something she can actually use. <laughs> Does this guy have any clothing? No, it appears he was just made to make arms, armors, and amulets and other little things. Amulets? What amulets does he have? I don't know. I, 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 I'm I, kind of looking for that sort of stuff, but just now they're very interested, I think. Okay. I mean, I, I, if, if I can use the wand of awesomeness, that's kind of the main thing. Okay. Um, so, you look for a bow and arrow, huh? Okay. So. So, do I find anything she can actually use, or? Um, you do find something. You find a small amulet. Okay, just, if it's an amulet in us, like, pick it up and... Uh, what's this one? Are you going to do a spellcraft? Uh, I'm going to hold it over to the person who can do spellcrafts. I'll do a spellcraft for you. Right now. I did take a spellcraft check, it's taking its time. Yeah, roll 20 sometimes lagging out. Okay, so. Kalista, how many coins you took overall? Kalista, how many coins did he take? I only did the wand for the wand. I just did one for just to have a look around for anything that's interesting. Yeah, because I need to count how many coins we have left. I took two, one for me, one for Todor. Just in case. You never know, I might find like a dragon helmet or some shit, I don't know. Okay, so... That's your spell bro. <laughs> okay, so what's the amulet? Um... This amulet, in the shape of a small priest, is an amulet of true resurrection. Shit. That's useful. Oh, yeah. He's not somebody who dies, you or they come back. Oh, this is nice of... This is good for back home. I'll put the coin down and just grab it. Uh, take it then. Okay then. Yeah. You wait a second. Worry about dying, but like, uh, wait. I'm. Do you like share the information what that thing is? This item is. 
the thing is, I can't because I didn't hear what Dylan said. So Ring I'll... of Resurrection, uh, Amulet of Resurrection. Okay, fine, wicked. Well, somebody other than Samalwood should take it because Samalwood's got one resurrection and somebody else. Mm. And, and, um, well, to be honest, I kind of, if I die, I come back anyway, so anyone else want it? Uh, well, if, if, if our ranger takes it, just consider this. I know, I mean, it's free, completely oh, well, free that you might use it, but I, I see, can it does it allow resurrection to be cast by anyone else? Or is it just an auto if you die? It's you or anybody else. Only one. Oh, if it's, I'll pass it to whoever else wants it and go and look for something else then. Oh, I will. Because it's kind of redundant. <laughs> no, no, well, okay. If, in that case, I, I say give it to the ranger. He hasn't got any auto die thing, does he? Yeah. Okay, basically, I think we have. I'm kind of like a lit. It's likes template. She's kind of like a lich in that sense. She just goes to. Okay. The thing is, I I think I'm protected by my god, plus I don't get into melee, so... Yeah. Okay, I think we have six coins left. So I'll take a different coin, like give that coin to him, take a different coin and just have a crown for anything interesting. That Still lady. looking for that bow and arrow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anything fancy. Do you want me to roll uh, that again? Uh, perception? Um, I think I have one coin to spend, or did you take more? Well, I kind of took another one because the, the Amulet of Resurrection went to somebody else who could actually need it. Well, there's a few bots. And now... I didn't, I didn't buy it. <laughs> so, I've kind of got a coin left. I gave it to whoever wants to buy it. Anybody want to buy it? I'll buy it, I guess. I still well, got another coin. Well, no, no, I mean, you, you don't you don't have to. I'm just thinking that you're, you're the most useful person to have. Like I said, I'm buying it, but I'm also still looking for that bow and arrow. Yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> you do find a bow. It appears to be made of solid quartz, and you can see small cracks all over it. Ooh. I'm going to put down the coin and pick it up. <clears throat> what you you tool? I'm assuming you give it to Callisto. Oh, yeah, that. Because he's the one that is trusted to pay for it. Well, he's not. I've kind of got a coin to pay for it, and that's for us. So now I have a quartz bow. And okay. Amulet. Oh, I'm using one last coin to find, well, nothing. I, I still got my coin. I'm just like, anything that's interesting for them to use, because that was like, yeah. <laughs> you know what? I know what, what I'm trying to see. Like, is there some kind of headgear, headpiece that's interesting? So what did a 47 find, by the way? Oh, 47? Yeah. Um, let's see. Do, do you find an unassuming statue? So not it's not what she's looking for. She's something completely. So you're just gonna toss the uh, statue to the side. Well, she's not gonna touch it. It's like she's not looking for statues. <laughs> She's looking like actual accessories or an actual armor she can wear. That's what she was looking for last time, and apparently she... yeah. So, so Marward, you found a helmet. It's just a giant eye in the center and two curved horns. Hmm... Mr. Uh, uh, Captain Callisto, can you give a look at it? This is a helm of telepathy. I mean, like, Adam, I think he might have rolled for perception, or I don't know. I, no, I was rolling, I was typing my thing, and I, I rolled that for these. Okay, okay, so, so sorry for that. So, MG, GM, that was a helm of telepathy? Telepathy, yeah, basically. Yeah. So, does she 
see anything matching that description. Are you an accessory? Well, actual armor that can fit her, or an accessory that looks interesting to her, like something that she would use, technically. Um, so far, it's like a dagger, too small. Armor, too small. A statue. She's not going to... Why does she want a statue? She's apparently been looking at things that she would have no interest in looking at. There's just things that catch your eye out of... But... Um, not... What you... Okay. You Sorry? You find an earring. Okay, so, yeah, what, what kind of does it look like? Um, it appears to be just several demons just kind of chained together, one biting onto the tail of the last. Mm, oh, I like this one. What's this? Now, this is this looks like something I might actually wear. Uh, well, anyways, I look at the party. Well, anybody is interested in having a helm of Telefati? No, um, well, I have that, but what's this earring, by the way? Oh, do you want to do a spellcraft check on that? That's what I was asking for. Okay, then. Oh, sorry. Do you want, do you want one? Yeah. <laughs> She's, like, holding out the earrings. Oh, this poor wizard. Just everybody's handing him shit. <laughs> yeah. So this is basically an earring of summoned bearded devils. Oh, there you go. Is it limited charges? Or... Um, it doesn't appear to be limited, but it appears to be a number of it can do per day. Fair enough. Wait, now, wait. Oh. I'm no fan of devils, but I gather they're probably not fans of crazy abominations. Mm. And as they're summoned creatures, and uh, I'll consult with our paladin friend, they're not really real, so... If we're just sending them in to get killed, it's not really a problem, is it? Ah, uh, yes, I can reason with that argument. Plus, plus it looks adorable. They're just going to put the coin down and, yeah. She will have, she'll have it like, I need to get some drinks. Give me some drinks. Yeah, anyways, so I'm... He's a bearded devil, and it's like, they're going to realize the types of torture she would put it through. Not being mean, just menial tasks like, oh yes, the um, toilet needs cleaning. Mm, yeah, absolutely. Um, only summon it if it's got ranks in profession chef. Uh, anyway, um... It's devil food. Yeah, I'm I'm leaving the Helm of the Fatih alone. I'm not paying for it. I'm leaving it alone. Yeah, I'm gonna tell this guy. I'm gonna tell this guy just back off. With what? Well, I think what we should do, unless we can find a way to hit our objective, which is shut the gate or open the gate, then the best thing we could do at this point is try to bring down smash up the corridor so nobody else is getting into this room. This this dude's a robot, so he doesn't care. Probably. Well, can't you just shift? Do you have any of those demiplane shifting spells? Or? Yeah, I know, but it will stop mooks coming in. Anybody who can do plane shifting spells is probably going to be capable of doing... Well, I mean, pretty... can't you do plane shifting spells? Like, put this into another plane, and we can actually access it from where it points. Oh, yeah, I can gate, and I can teleport, so that's not an issue. I mean, like, teleport this entire room, everything in it, to... I can give you a location, and... No, I do not have, um... I do not have, uh... The, uh... uh create dem demi plane spell. Well, no, no, you just, oh. it's just a fast teleport of everything in the room to a certain location. So teleport the objects. If you teleport the machine and him, and all weapons, <coughs> he will continuously... Make these things normal wiser that he's in a completely different location. I fear that might take some time because I've only I've got a tele, greater teleport, but I don't have any planetary teleport. And at some point, we could do a bridging thing by opening up a gate to a friendly place, moving into that, and then gating back to. Our home. Anyways, yeah, gentlemen, this is very interesting discussion, but I think.
we have I think like let's just say because that was a pretty chaotic so we have like I don't know three maximum three coins or four yeah. three I think three so yeah the last one I think we need I'm starting to search really hard for something anything that might resemble or I'm just counting on luck something that might help with sealing up